up for the very first morning of us, the brand new year. This is Jack Scott, Velvet Fog, Beast High, with home from 411, what's going down and coming up this week. Besides Catalan Finals are on Fridays, to Taylor, Larry, Kurt, and Kessie for more skinny on the hoodie. During free period, the Science Club will meet in room 213 and switch midway with the AV Club in room 312 for the next two and a half sessions, then reverse and alternate their schedules for the second half of the winter quarter. The Skydiving Club will be meeting at 3 p.m. on the roof deck, and the First Aid Club will be waiting for them down in the parking lot below. All for now, peeps. What song? What light three under window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou for me art far more fair than she. Okay, well, once again, they have forgotten to announce the auditions for our winter musical, Juliet and Romeo. Written by our very own Kelsey Nielsen. Stand up, Kelsey, here and take a bow. Okay, it is a neoclassic feminist version of Shakespeare's classic tragedy of star-crossed lovers. With three, count them, three tab numbers. By thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly exchanged the tragic ending for a more happy ending in which the two lovers live and move to Albuquerque. So, we will have our pairs, or our, excuse me, our uh, single auditions for the supporting cast and the chorus, as well as pairs auditions for our two leads. Uh, Mr. Danforth, uh, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Kindly keep your palabial fricatives to your own primitive aesthetic. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, Drunk Club faces a dearth of male performers. So, I am trying to get you all to audition. I'm giving you the opportunity to spread your wings in new horizons. The timeless allure of the grease paint. The magical spell of the clean light. All right, I'm offering extra credit. <laughs> Once again, the cell phone says we return for our little principle of learning. Ryan and Sharpay Evans, your cell phones, please. And I shall see you both in detention. Oh, we have zero tolerance for cell phones here. I'll get to know you better in detention. And welcome to East High, Ms. Montez. Oh, Mr. Walton. I see your cell phone is also involved. That will be a detention for you this afternoon, too, as well, sir. It's not even a possibility, Mr. Darvish. Yeah. 30 yeah. minutes for you, Mr. Danforth. Count him. That'll be tough for Chad, since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. What? I have never had detention. Well, happy new year. This ain't my first rodeo, Kitty. Shall the carnage continue? Ah. Attention custodial staff, a nauseous freshman just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major spewage, folks, so walk your job for Sorry, peeps, this is Justin. Please remember to sign up for the school musical Juliet and Romeo by the Red Hot Composer Babe, Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High. I don't believe it. Me either, but how? We just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here, too. I looked for you at the lodge when you were staying, but... We had to leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Bolton! Woo! <laughs> I told my friends I was snowboarding, but I didn't tell them about the singing thing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool, but my friends, that's not what I do. Pretty crazy, right? Meeting up again like this? Hey, I was gonna call you like a bunch of times. And? Well, you know. You chickened out. Kinda. Cool. So, now that you've met Darvis the Grange, I bet you can't wait to sign up for the school musical. I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to know the school. But if you signed up, I'd consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible is even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new classmate around. Troy's such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the president of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Oh, look. Just sign up for the musical. Oh, we're 
were you going to sign up to? I'm so sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nurse with glass bud. No, I was just looking over the bulletin boards. Lots going on at this school. Wow, nice penmanship. I Woo! miss you during vacation, Troy. So, what to do, hmm? Practice basketball, snowboarding. More basketball. Gotta go practice it all. You're so dedicated, just like me. Hope you'll come watch me musical, promise? Maybe it's my hair. Hey, Wildcats, it's request time again, and this one goes out to Vice Principal Vinny Ichikawa, the person who took the air on these times. Sorry, folks. Seems we have another request that goes something like this. Troy Bolton, get your butt to basketball practice on double your grind for a week. Later, peeps. And remember, Chase is strong as the weakest link. When the going gets tough, the going is going. Oh, I guess you guys knew that one already. Okay, give me ten minutes, win girls, give me some hustle. Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. Be gone. 
You have no power here. Whatever. Well, I'm impressed. You're a genius. Please, it's just an equation. Right, it's me. I thought Miss Darby took the phone away. Of course. We always carry a spare in case our agent calls. Listen, the Science Decathlon team has a huge regional match this Friday. And with you on our side, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I think I'll pass for now. I just want to get acclimated to the new school. Well, promise you'll think about it? Promise. Troy Bolton was looking at our audition list. Again? He was hanging around with that Montez hag this morning, and they were both looking at the list. There's something freaky about her. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah, it's like she has some sort of extra brain. So why is she interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy Bark Boy. Look, I need you to plant those printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP, all right? No problem, boss. But what am I doing this? Okay, there's no harm in making certain that Gabrielle is welcome to miss school activities that are appropriate for her. You know, the ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton. <laughs> Well, Wildcats, it's time to kiss the day goodbye and point me towards attention. So all you evildoers better get your butts to the theater immediately or face the wrath of Darvis Merciless. This is Jack Scott, signing off. Ah, uh, yes, my little attention menagerie. Can you pass me a dog? <laughs> yes, to improve our instincts and reflexes for our... <laughs> be the bear, be the monkey. Are you an ostrich? Thank you. 
be exposed to the theater by any means necessary. Oh, may we have a word? And you two in the gym now? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, tension is over. Don't forget about auditions tomorrow <laughs> afternoon. You may collect your cell phones. Scoot now. Darvis, we are days away from the biggest game of the year. Chad and Troy, my two star players. We need them in practice. So, now your pathetic male ego is all bent out of shape, okay? I'm in the midst of my winter musical as well, and I take my audition seriously too, coach. Yeah, well, we, we are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we're days away from our musical auditions. Okay. You can't have them in here acting like idiots. But they should be in practice. Acting like idiots? They were acting like actors. You know, this school is not just about boys running around in baggy shorts, flinging balls into buckets. Baskets. <laughs> Whatever. The West Side Knights have knocked us out of class for the past three years. Precisely. And despite your consistent record of defeat, the school district still sees fit to spend ten times more on your program than it spends on my arts program. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids a goal, something they can use as adults. Which is exactly what I'm trying to instill in them. What, by making them scream at the top of their lungs? Philistine. Crackpot. Hey peeps, welcome back to another train wreck of the school day. The auditions for Juve and Romeo will start at 3 p.m. sharp. So ye verily for suit dudes better ever bop <laughs> vocal cords. This is Jack Scott, over now. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1.
know, though. I think maybe it could have some work.
I don't know, like I'm flying, like I'm soaring through the skies, like That's a bird or something. The magic of the theater. You can be anything you want to be. There's no star in the heavens you can't reach. But you have to risk. That's true for you too, Miss Montez. <laughs> Troy, Gabriella, you got your callbacks. You can open your eyes now. We're not doing the miracle worker, you know. Wow, thanks, Miss Margaret. You two are so amazing. Like, it's exactly what I heard in my head. Okay, Kelsey, finish the finale. Work on it with them. If you two want to rehearse, I'm usually in the music room during free period and after school, and sometimes during biology class. Just call me on my cell phone and I'm there. Or, if it's easier, I can come over with my accordion. It's mobile!
lightning splash. Students have been about singing and dancing on tables in the school cafeteria. Clicks have gone wild in an unprecedented response to Troy Fultz's callback to the school musical. One skater dude was even seen mixing it with school string band. Oh, the humanity! Wow, pretty wild, huh? I can't believe how crazy it got just because we got called back. This is much better, right? Much better. So this is your private hideout? Thanks to the Horticulture Club, my buddies don't even know about it. Seems to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. Yeah, unless we lose. Must be tricky being a coach's son. He's gonna freak when he hears about the singing thing. You're worried? My parents' friends are always saying, hey, your son is the basketball guy. You must be so proud. Sometimes, I don't want to be the basketball guy. I want to be, you know, me. I saw the way you treated Kelsey at the auditions yesterday. Do your friends know that side of you? Are you kidding? To them, I'm a playmaker, dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker, that's such an odd phrase. Well, how about the Pythagorean theorem? I think, I think you mean Pythagorean. Right, whack. At my other schools, I was a freaky math girl. Everyone pointed at me and laughed. They made me feel like I was a freak and I hated it. That's why I want to keep a low profile here, so I can just be me. But you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? Kinda? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star and you love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Well, maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, know nothing about him, and two seconds later, you were best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Yeah. Singing with you felt like that, like safe, you know? I never thought about singing, that's for sure. But Gabriella, when I look at you, it's like anything's possible. So you really want to do the callbacks? Oh, that's cool. I mean, I don't want to either. No, I'm in. Really? Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. You're a boy, I try, but not for the reasons your friends think. You never know what you're gonna feel. You never see it coming, suddenly it's real. Oh, it never even crossed my mind. Did I ever ever hope to find someone like you?
That doesn't sound very appetizing. When you prefer a nice creme brulee, or maybe some tartufu, tiramisu, tiramisu. Why did I say tiramisu? Ah. So you really think that's gonna work? So it's say Troy Gabriella from himself. So what you're saying is the individual must be sacrificed for the sake of the whole. Very Karl Marx. Works for me. When we get Troy in the locker room, he's gonna have to have your little lab about the six million dollars. Whatever, Chad. Just work it until he. Troy Bolt is my best friend. I know I push all the buttons. Remember, the line of communication is crucial to successful deployment of this covert operation. Wow, that's a lot of syllables for one sentence. I didn't know you had it in you. I'm impressed. Thanks. I've been working on it all night, so um, my watch reads 13 hours long standard time. I read some programs. Whatever, Chad. Save it for Charlie's Angels. Or a bottle of meat. I love you. Sweet territory. Don't So something isn't right. The Jocks and the Brainiacs mingling in study hall? The Jocks basically own the entire school. But if they get that Troy kid in the musical, then they conquer the entire student body. And if the Brainiacs get Gabrielle and hooked up with Troy Bolton, the science club goes from jewel to cool, and Troy will be hers forever. Ryan, we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between Tony Awards and Tony Soprano. But how? Darvis, I have a plan. Lucy! I'll tell Darvis that Tony's and his dad want to sabotage the audition because she gave him this attention. She'll never believe it. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. As the president of the drama club, you're not supposed to lie, Sharpay. Yeah, and as the vice president, you're supposed to smile, zip it, and do what I tell him. Now come on. Well, 
Don't tell me you're good at hoops, too. I must report to the championship game. No way. This ain't the best PlayStation and the iPad. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. Yeah, me too. And I was late for practice, so if I get kicked off the team, it'll be on your conscience. Hey, I... Gabriella, chill. The practice is over. Not the last play of these dimple. Two rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriella Montez. Oh, your intention, buddy? Gabrielle, she's in the lab right away. Pick up her head. I'll see you later, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Intention was my fault, not hers. Um, you haven't missed practice in three years. That girl shows up and you're late twice? That girl's named Gabriella, and she's very nice. But making you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not my book, or your team's. She's just a girl, she's not a problem. But you're not just a guy. You're the team leader. And what you do not only affects this team, but the entire school. Without you completely focused on Friday, we won't win the game. The championship games, they don't come along very often. There's something special. A lot of things are special. Get your head in the game, though, for real. You're a playmaker, Bolton, not a singer. You're going to regret this for the rest of your life. You mean like you? And my name is Troy, Dad, not Bolton. Oh, you're late.
Try, try Boulder. Um, I think it's for you. <laughs> Gabriella, what's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You've got to keep your team, and now I've got my team. I'll do the science of Cat One, you win your championship. It's where you belong. Go out, Cat. But I don't want to. Me either. Bye.
Are you brain dead? No one's gonna like me if I'm just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be Annie Oakley. I can be anyone I want to be, not just dumb old Sharpay. And besides, they named me after a stupid flabby dog. I mean, come on. Look, we've gotten the lead since first. If we get them again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. And besides, could have been worse. Could have made you pug, or she'd see him. But Troy and that, that thing. Look, maybe Troy would like you better if you were just yourself for once. Pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. Only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, well, those are eight important minutes. Oh, sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come to ask if I'd switch partners and audition with you? The answer is yes, Ron Fire. Sure, pay! Um, uh, no. Have you guys seen Gabriella? I really have to talk to her. Who? Forget it. Hey, wait. I think I saw her in the theater, like, rehearsing. Ten minutes ago, maybe? Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How can you stab me in the back like that, helping the enemy? I stabbed you in the back? Well, at least you admit it. Now let's take it from the top and lose those stab squares. <laughs> Guys, we have something we want to tell you. No, us first. No, this is important. 
Try not excited. What Gabriella means is. Hey, all you crazy wildcats. Just a reminder that the Science Cathedral and Basketball Championship game will both start at tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby. But wait, it looks like we have a late breaking Wildcat news flash. The callbacks for Julian Romeo have moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hey, but wait, Miss Jarvis, you can't. At the same time. Sorry, Troy. This is Jack Scott. Over and out. Something you want to do, we should be both new up. Not breaking you down. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me. Good luck in the big game, Troy. Sorry about the callbacks, Gabriella. Yeah, so anyway, I'll be there for the team, guys. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. <laughs> what? You can't. It's just a musical. Just a musical? You know what he means. We can't be selfish. Not when our friends are depending on us. <laughs> But you can't. Right. Well, we can. Oh. So, um, what are we gonna do now? I don't know. I dreamed the bird and all. Yeah, we gotta figure out a way to do it. Oh. Team huddle. Yay, yeah, spoke Jack. I'm good with foreign languages, remember? Down to a split second. Jack's back and help us. He's announcing the game. It's impossible. I can do anything with my laptop. Oh, yeah. We all were on our own road. We didn't really know. And you tell the story something to say about the other road. Not the chance to take a new direction. Calling all Wildcats, the following events are all starting immediately. 
The Science of Catalan is in the second floor lab. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo are in the theater. And the league basketball championship game is in the gym. Wildcats rule, baby. You have exactly five minutes to solve this equation. Ready, set, and... Question number 17, Valence is chemical bonding. Did we do this, Gabriella? Focus! No contact with the sidelines, Ms. McKenzie. And boom, grabs the rebound! You have two minutes remaining. Okay, I warned you once, Ms. McKelsey. Until we fix it or pay the electric bills, please make an orderly exit from the gym and head straight to the theater. Hurry! Presidential privilege and deliberately lied to me? 
I didn't lie. I improvised a little. All right, Miss Evans. We will talk about this later. Right now, off my stage. You heard me. Off my stage. It's all yours, Miss Nervous. Gabriella, Troy, you may begin your call back. But we don't have a piano. We'll sing without music. Oh, no, you won't get it here, Miss Nervous. <laughs> You really don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I really do. Rally! <laughs> now that's showbiz! <laughs> Troy, I can't do it. It was so much easier when it's just you and me. It's from kind of just you and me. Like kindergarten, remember? I'm right here.